Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Brielle from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma ask, Why did the king keep changing his mind and not let God's people go? Oh, Brielle, that is a fabulous question. Well, one of the reasons uh, that the king refused to let God's people go was because he himself was sinful. And Brielle, sinful people do sinful things. Uh, another reason, Brielle, is that the king did not like God's plan. See, the king thought that he was sovereign or had absolute control over everything that was taking place. And Brielle, he didn't. As much as we don't have all control over the things that take place in our life. The king was also receiving free help and free labor uh, from the slaves at, that were working for him. And so the king was thinking, there is no way I can let these people go. If I let them go, then I'm going to lose my free labor and I'm no longer going to have control over the people that are helping to build my kingdom. And so the king's heart was hard and the king did not want to let the Israelites go. Now, Brielle, it's also important for us to know that the scripture tells us that the Lord holds even the king's hearts and uh, character in his own hands. And so a part of the hardening of the heart of the king was also, Brielle, to display the sovereignty and control that our God Yahweh has over everything. The desire for God at the end of the day was for people to know him and to love him and to obey him. And so anytime we're disobedient to the Lord, there are always consequences that follow. See, the king's heart was hard. But the king's heart was in control of the Lord. And so it's our responsibility, Brielle, to have softened hearts towards God, to want to obey and to want to do what he tells us to do. Now, the king had a warning. Moses took him a warning and said, if you don't let God's people go, then these things will happen to you. And the king said, no, no, they won't. I am sovereign. Brielle, the king was wrong. And so the Lord displayed his wrath and his power. Brielle, we all need to make sure that our hearts are soft towards God by reading the scripture and praying. That's important for us as believers. So what can you do if you notice your heart is hard towards God or his plan? Thank you.